Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. How do you know a prophet when his words come to pass? God has been using our new generation prophet I.O. Samuel J.P. in the lives of individuals and nations across the continent and around the world through accurate prophecies, instant healings through the mantles of Shiloh Wat Chapel, direct one-on-one prophecies of accurate events around the world. As is written in the scriptures in the book of Deuteronomy 18 verses 21 and 22, Hosea chapter 12 verse 13, Amos chapter 3 verses 6, to seven and Revelation 19:10. The Lord cannot do anything without showing his prophet. Just 
terminate their life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I command your own share to manifest this week. Yeah. Yeah. Prophetic Confirmation 2014. From Lagos, the nation's commercial capital, this is the news at 10. Live from Channels Television. Reported tonight, Ijoma Oyato. Hello and welcome. Tonight, explosion rips through a crowded bus station in Abuja. At least 72 people confirmed dead. The president visits blast scene, condemns attack, also assures of triumph over terror. attacks to strike the country in recent times. Now today's explosion in Nyanya, Abuja, the federal capital territory, ripped through a bus station, leaving over 72 people dead. More than 124 people were wounded in the attack and are also lying in hospital. The explosion occurred during the early morning rush hour, leaving a four-foot deep hole on the ground of Nyanya Motor Park, 16 kilometers from the Abuja city center. About 40 vehicles were destroyed after their fuel tanks ignited. This is what is now left of Nyanya Motor Park, a settlement on the outskirts of the nation's capital, when a bomb exploded in the early hours of Monday. According to eyewitnesses, the device went off during the morning rush hour. This morning, my, my younger brother left home that is coming to Nyanya Park because we have a shop in Nyanya Market here. So he come to the shop this early morning. So I was about to follow him to collect key. I was already on my way coming by this park here. The next thing it was a bomb blast. Everybody was running. Everybody was running. The innocent, one, the innocent, one, the innocent ones was dying up and down. I entered the vehicle. I collected my ticket. I entered the vehicle. Somebody said, "Let me just go and take water there." I don't know. I just step out. Close the other side there. I just hear boom. I said, "What's happening?" Before I know, I saw people. People start running left and right. I can't even know the real vehicle that I can't I can't really know the vehicle. That's the plain truth. It's like a, a tanker, two tanker collapse and bomb. And so even the grass, one of my sisters that she's at home, fire passed through her side. We've evacuated a lot of dead bodies, some half tone and all that into different hospitals. We have placed a team. There is an assistant commander who is in charge of excursions to the hospitals. He's coordinating that. Spokesman for the police, Frank Mba, put the death toll at 71, 124 injured. So far, we have a total of 71 persons dead. A hundred and twenty-four others injured. They are all receiving treatment at various hospitals within and around FCT Metropolis. As I earlier told you, 16 luxurious buses were touched and 24 other vehicles of assorted mix were equally Damaged. At the Nyanya General Hospital, family members and residents gathered to sympathize with the injured and identify the bodies of their relations. The chief medical director of the hospital said over 75 people were brought to the hospital for treatment. Yes, we are giving the first aid management for them. Those that have injuries will suturing and dressing and then taking. Those that require systemic approach, we call it threatening to and take them away. As at uh, about 7580, because we are moving them in tents, the ambulance vehicles will only take approximately about three. And uh, at any particular time, we'll pull into the nine doctors. So give them approximately 70 there about. And you know, a good number of them came in, they couldn't even you know, say their names for, for identity. But we just have a card in their names. At the 
moment in the notebook, I have about 24, you know, which are on ground now, but we are still moving. The bomb attack has been described by many as a dastardly act and a call on security agencies to step up their intelligence gathering to prevent further attacks of this nature across the country. Please pray for the nation, pray for the country, especially Nigeria. Because this underground people, if you want, the poor will cry for the people that will suffer more than the demons. The poor will not cry much this time. They will cry for sound, sound of bomb. It will not come to them. God, God will build a bomb for the poor. Mark my words. In this generation, we know that the young man as a prophet is saying strange things. How can you know? I'm telling people their secrets here, one on one. This uh, nation one is simple. Because anybody can say it, but when it's happening, all these problems here and there. So, it's not a case for. It's very clear as crystal. As I'm watching you, you see him projectors of. Don't ask. Please have mercy. I'm with you, please speak of Camilla. I'm with you, but I'm not with you. I was somewhere yesterday, felt like running mad because if I stop, the whole place will scatter. Because I was seeing people's mind. Powerful leaders, but not with one spirit. So let us pray. So please, pray, pray, pray. Stop sleeping. If the church does not pray, it will get worse. Don't say people around is dead or alive. The devil is still living to torment people. Pray more. Pray more. There are other groups you have not heard. But for you to be attending to places, we can't mention that. We're just shielding you in spirit. God is still alive. Amen. We don't allow his children to perish this way. The word of God is sure. The word of God is spirit. The word of God is standing strong. So pray. Pray for nations. Pray. There's a message I'm seeing. It's flying away up and down. That's why I'm giving you the previous messages. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, we pray for mercy on the nations of the earth. Amen. We ask for the mercy. Amen. On every land in Asia. Amen. Every land in Africa. Amen. Every nation of Europe. Amen. And the United States of America. Amen. I pray for mercy on the bloodshed. Amen. Rituals. Amen. Sacrifices. Amen. Selling our lands to God. Amen. Agreements. Occultic plans and evil. Demonic groups, occultic personal ambitions. Father, whatever they have done on the land, and the blood is crying, let the blood of Jesus speak better things now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. The mediator of the New Testament. The blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. For the blood of Abel spoke, but could not change any situation. According to Genesis chapter 4, verse 8 and 9, he spoke only vengeance, spoke only calamity. But the blood of Jesus spoke redemption. I pray for redemption on this land in the name of Jesus. For every evil the enemy is planning, we join hands together with one voice as a church, especially in Nigeria. Father, let the cloud of darkness scatter in the name of Jesus! Amen! Father, we soak our leaders with the blood of Jesus. They that are bowing down before you. They are ready to change their lives. If my people that I call my name shall...
Ahmad was a visibly disturbed president that arrived at the scene of today's attack to see things for himself. Although saddened, President Goodluck Jonathan was unshaken in his resolve to do everything possible to triumph over the terrorists. The president was accompanied by the Senate President David Mark and the Inspector General of Police Mohammed Abubakar. Our correspondent Amelo Nadi reports. President Goodluck Jonathan at the site of the bomb blast in Nyanya, in the outskirts of Abuja. The president assured that the issue of Boko Haram and other terrorist activities would soon be a thing of the past. If we become observant and all of us become very scarcely conscious by the movement of people, we'll be able to reduce some of these incidents. We'll do our best. The country uh, security services will continue to work hard. And God willing, we'll get to right. The issue of Boko Haram is temporary. Surely, get over it. The president also visited a Sokoro General Hospital where most of the victims of the blast were taken. <laughs> At the National Hospital, 46 persons are receiving treatment for different degrees of injuries, with 15 persons dead. Once I say it, it becomes authoritative. So just bear with me as we collect the figures. But we had a lot of uh, victims, we had a lot of them dead from the site. That's all I can say for now. But certainly before uh, the evening, you have more definitive figures. We are working hard to be sure that whatever figures we give to you, it's not wrong. We have to do with our sense of responsibility. It's certainly overwhelming. You can see very well. Not only in Emma as an agency, even the hospitals are overwhelmed. There was wailing and anguish as relations confirmed the death of loved ones. Many have condemned the bomb attack believed to have been carried out by Boko Haram. Nigerians look to security agencies to put an end to these dastardly acts of terrorist attacks on Nigerians. Omelogo Nadi Channels Television News. Well, in the meantime, the Senate President David Mark has condemned the Nyanya bombing that left scores of citizens dead. He frowned on what he called the war on defenseless citizens, describing it as inhuman, ungodly and unnecessary. Senator Mark sympathized with the victims and reminded Nigerians of the need to be their brother's keeper at all times. He also called on security operatives to work together to bring these attacks to an end. While well, the effect of the explosion in Abuja also reverberated in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, where a minute silence was observed for the souls of those who died in the incident.